back to Joe and Pasco. Today is, well, it's almost Christmas. So we're going to wish everybody a Merry Christmas out there. All you guys who love to look at Star Wars stuff and carving and shit like that. Really appreciate you guys coming out. So I'm um, going to throw out a little shout out here. One of the guys that I love to watch probably on a nightly basis of watching my YouTube videos is um, is the Junk Man. Now the Junk Man, um, he's an American and uh, he's freaking hilarious. You know, uh, he knows a lot about Star Wars stuff and that. And I just, I, he's just, he's funny. He's real. You know, he's, he's, uh, he doesn't delete his shit, you know, and he just says what he needs to say. A lot of times he screws up and it's funny because that's real. All right. So check out the junk man. Um, lots to do. Uh, another thing is we painted up our Jabba and our huge Salacious Crumb. All right. Still got a couple things to do, like his tongue and his eyes and his eyes here too. But, um, you know, we're getting there. This is just going to be a piece that's going to sit somewhere. It's always available. If anybody needs it or wants it, you know, you can always hit me up. Uh, what else are we going to talk about? Oh, yeah. So we got quite a bit of characters in the background there. We're sort of getting a pretty good collection going on. Today, I want to show you guys what I picked up. I didn't pick it up today. I picked it up yesterday. So, um, a lot of times, we're going to basically go through it. I am not a collector of Star Wars stuff that needs to be packaged or carded or stuff. I don't like that. Uh, you know, if there's only two of one items and I open it up, what makes this guy rich? I hate that stuff. I buy stuff that's usually loose. Then again, when I find great deals, I'll take them. And I'm going to open them. But this is not vintage. All right. So, let's check it out. We got ourselves uh, Star Wars. Uh, this is the Power of the Force Collection 2, it's called. And check out that price. It's five bucks. I couldn't say no. These aren't as great as our old school characters, but they're good. Okay. So we got a Bib Fortuna. We have a Sand uh, Man, which is, uh, you know, Tuscan Raider. We got him. Um, we got another one. I totally slept, forgot. I have this one, but he doesn't have the extra gun. Um, it's Dengar. All right. And they all came at $5, so I couldn't say no. And then one of the characters that I know that is impossible to get, but they did make other series of it, would be our Yak Face. And, uh, Sialt Murray is, I don't know what the hell that is. I guess that was his name. I didn't know that. I just thought it was Yak Face. But... It's power of the force, so not worth the billions of dollars that everybody's, you know, saving and collecting for. And again, I don't keep the carded stuff. I just, it's not my style. Like I said, I don't want to make those people rich. That if there's only two of them and I open one, well, that guy's got the money. So to me, I'd rather just buy stuff that's ready available. Uh, what I do like to keep is I like to keep this and... I keep the background of that. I don't need the whole carded area. It's not like I'm ever going to resell them. And I'm sure if I die, my kids aren't going to fucking do anything about it either. So what we're going to do is we're just going to open them up. And we're going to be, you know, gentle about it. So we'll use ourselves our uh, Zacto knife. And we'll just get in there and just cut around. Just as for the first ones to see how we can do it. All right. Okay, toss it up. So, let's take a look at our first character. Um, this is the act face. You know, everybody wanted the act face back in the day. You know, only here in Canada was it made. And, uh, you know, everybody was in a buzz to get one. And now they're very sought after. Uh, you can get them open, but they're still pretty expensive. Uh, you know. Power of the Force has them out there too, so let's see. Um, so, yeah, it comes up with a little, little. I'm sure you guys all see this, but it has a little write up of who he is, what he, you know, who he's just so affiliated with, and you know, job of the hut, and God, I need glasses. I can't see shit. <clears throat> oh, let me just put these on. My old man glasses. Ooh. So yeah, so you know, he stands at 2.2 meters in height. That's his de. Not this one, the original, you know, what he's supposed to be. Um, it has a status, says he's an informant. Uh, classification says unknown. And then it says affiliation, loyal to Jabba the Hutt. And then, of course, the weapon is a double-barreled blaster pistol with 
modified trigger guard. And then the rest is in French and I don't know, it's probably Italian or something, or Mexican or something, I don't even know. But anyway, just overall, I mean, you know, plastic cape, you know, articulation's only like arms and legs. Maybe his head does move a bit. Yeah, it, it, it does a does a good movement. You could tear his head, so whatever. Um, legs kind of rotate like that, but whatever. Uh, weapon, pretty plasticky. Not very rigid, but it's what it's supposed to be, I guess. Fits into his hand pretty good in that. So this is the, the Yak Face, again, from um, you know, the Power of the Force line. Is collection too, it says. So it's just nice to have just to go put it up on, on the wall with the rest of them, you know. And uh, does he stand pretty well? Well, he's a little, a little harder to stand, I find. Uh, oh, no, he's, he's okay. He stands up. I can show you that he, he's there. He stands up pretty good. I'll put him on Java. Let's put him beside Java. Wah. All right. So that's one. Um, let's go to the next one, which is our, uh, our Dengar. Uh, I guess it's not like I'm keeping the boxes. But I want to keep those little pieces there. I to put them up on my wall. <laughs> All right, so the Gengar is the same thing. Uh, part of the horse. Um, you know, a little write up about him. If you know anything about who they are, uh, he stood at 1.8 meters. He's a bounty hunter. Classification human. He's a freelance, affiliation says freelance, and weapon of choice is a blaster rifle. So it comes with two blasters, the big long one he has, and then it looks like a little stormtrooper one. I think that's what it was. Sort of like, they only came out with so many weapons, I guess. Ideas of weapons for these people back in the day. So, yeah, it's just mm, basic weapon. And then, again, Dengar. I mean, it's not the doesn't not have the cloth head or nothing like that. It's, it's plasticky. It's pretty solid. Head moves, body rotates. You know, pretty good. Uh, weapons. Let's see. He's got two weapons, so we could figure out where we want to put them. Which hand goes where? Uh, so he holds that. He holds that one pretty good. And, Again, pretty standard, you know, weapons. That's how they are. Nothing spectacular. Kenner style shit, so. And then his, well, this one's having a little bit more of an issue to put in his hand. But it does, it does go in both. So there you go. He's got both his weapons in there. Ah, pretty good. Pretty good. We'll put him with Jabba. Oops. Gonna fall over. Whatever. Oh. Bring that after. All right, and then we'll go into the Tuscan Raider. And to me, the Tuscan Raider, the look of it is a lot, a lot different than, than what we had back in the day. Now my characters are all, they're not like they're they're hooked up to a backing and then they're glued to the wall, or glued to the board, so I don't take them off. Uh, all I have to do is take that piece of metal off, and then I could you know look at them. So. Um, you know, plastic, uh, cape, you know, what do you expect for the power of the force? Uh, one of his hands is solid inside where the other one holds it, which I don't know why they would have done that. I guess he was only to make, maybe hold, um, his weapon in one hand. Usually he does the old up in the air thing. All right. So, uh, same thing. He was 1.9 meters. Uh, nomad warrior he's humanoid he has no affiliation and the uh, gather fee stick gather stick gather fee whatever you know what the hell it is um overall kind of it's okay looking but i don't know why i guess if you could see they have it like his head's tilted he's always looking downwards maybe he has to be on the top i don't know stands pretty well. all right and last but least I have a Bib Fortuna over there. Uh, it was a different one. He didn't come with a cape. 
this one. Hmm, I'm not sure. So I don't remember Bib Fortuna coming with a, having a weapon in Star Wars, but he has one here, which is fun. Um, yeah, plastic cape that basically his robe drapes over him. They made this one really fat. I don't know. He's just kind of ugly looking this year. Let's see. So, here's the difference between the two of them. Like, I don't know what series this came out because it was an open pack. Because if you know, you can let me know. But you can see, like, his mouth is different and all that. He's a lot skinnier. You could tell. Um, the way they draped his whatever face horn, whatever it is, is different. This one's solid. And uh, this one looks like it could be either taken off or moved. I don't know. Head doesn't move. Hands are there um he has a normal he has that that nazi salute Whoa. i don't know what the hell that's about in his gun and uh, oh plus he's got the parachute pants and his articulation on this one is looser it's an older one i guess uh he has normal legs you can see and uh he's got these big fat hands like he's gonna go out and grab you he wants to give you a hug uh, and then of course you know, he stood at 1.88 meters, you know, status, Jabba the Hutt's Major Domo, made, mod, Major Domo, M-A-J-O-R-D-O-M-O, -O -O, Major Domo. Uh, classification, Twi'lek, he's loyal to Jabba the Hutt, and uh, his weapon of choice is Hold Out Blaster. Never knew he had a weapon. This is any freaking, freaking in here, so that's okay. So yeah, a little bit of a difference if I had to compare these two. Um, a lot fatter. But then this guy was supposed to have a cloth uh, robe. And he, I don't know, he did just, just didn't come with one, right? And he holds his blaster, which again, there it is. You can see that. So not an overall great looking um, molded figure, character, whatever. But I mean, you know, it's... Star Wars, right? Because you love it. And, uh, yeah, the power of the force. I really like these little sticker things. Well, they come off pretty easy. The, the little shiny ones. I don't care what they come with. Some come with coins, the different series and all that. Some come with, uh, I don't know what the hell it is. But, anyway, I think this brings us up to a hundred and... hundred and five or a hundred... There's a hundred and five characters I have back up there. They're very cheap. I, I buy them open, like, two, three dollars a piece. Sometimes five dollars, like you see here. I don't think I pay more than, you know, maybe $10 for a character. If I'm going to pay $10 and up and it's an open cake character, it's probably going to be one of the older version ones, which is cool. I mean, that's what we want. What am I wearing my glasses for? Um, so, yeah, we got quite a bit of characters. We still, we're still trying to do stuff. Once the printers are back up, we're trying to do our own just for the fun of it. Because, you know what? It's, I don't need to buy these guys if I can make my own, too. Paint them and make them look pretty good. Like, I mean... I like Jabba. Jabba looks good like this. He's a little bit darker than, uh, see, our normal one, but I think he looks good. And then, you know, I'd like to get, you know, the whole band, the whole band done. But, you know, if I can get them for cheap, I'll buy them. If not, I'll just make my own and paint them. Just having a little bit of issues with the printers, some leveling issues, mechanical issues. I don't know. Issues. It's Christmas time anyway. Anyway, uh, so I just wanted to show you. These are the Power of the Force line. Um, check out the Junk Man. He's pretty funny, and he knows a lot about Star Wars. There's a lot of those guys out there. Uh, that was a shout-out to him. Uh, I think was, his name is Obi-Wan, the only one or something like that. Another a UK-based guy. He's pretty damn good. He's got a lot of information. I like his stuff. A lot of these characters don't like to show their faces. I don't know why. I mean, if you're just as pretty as I am, why wouldn't you, right? Mm -hmm. All right. So let's just end this by saying Merry Christmas to everybody. If I can do it, you can do it. And uh, choose your own path. You guys, Merry Christmas. Be good.